Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another book chat for you. I'm trying to film these a little bit closer together so there's less books in them so they're not so long. I've been trying overall to keep my videos a bit shorter on my channel and I've been failing miserably but I'm gonna keep on trying. So I only have a few books to talk about and I actually wrote some notes in the notes section of my phone so it wouldn't be completely rambly and I had some coherent thoughts about what I'm talking about. So the first lot of books I'm talking about, I'm continuing on the Colorado Mountain series by Kristen Ashley. I think I talked about The Gamble in my last book chat. I've since read, I think it was Sweet Dreams, then Lady Luck, then Breathe, then Jagged, and now I'm reading Kaleidoscope. So I have some thoughts about the overall sort of series. All the books follow a very similar plot line wherein there's a guy and a girl and they kind of get together and then the guy does something stupid and they kind of break apart, they get back together and then something dramatic happens and the guy saves the day and then it's a happily ever after. I know that that's that's kind of telling you how the story is going to go, but I don't feel like it's really spoiling the story. You kind of expect that kind of thing for a romance novel. These books all have a lot of moving parts and they have so much going on. They're quite intriguing and you do get sucked into them. They can be a little bit long-winded at times. They are quite long for the type of book that they are. And they, some of them I found I took a little bit more to get into. But um, overall, I, I did like them. There is a lot of quite vulgar language in the book, so if you are offended by that kind of thing, then they're probably not for you, although if you read a lot of romance novels, then it's probably going to be fairly typical of, of what you read. The characters are actually older in this series, older for me. I find that they're kind of in their late 30s or mid 30s, so if you're sort of older or older than me and you prefer to read books about people that are a similar age to you, then this series might be good for you although I mean I'm in my 20s and I can relate to them it, it age to me is really not that much of an issue and it's not something that's concentrated on but I just thought that would be something that I would mention the sort of issues that tend to be a little bit more mature um, all the books tend to bring back older characters and follow that like they interweave into the plot line. They are set in the Colorado mountains in a couple of different places that are nearby. Um, one's called Norbone, one's called Carnal, Chantel. They're all kind of like similar, they set in a similar area and, and they intertwine. Sometimes it might skip a book and then they kind of go back. So it's nice hearing um, little bits about past characters and, and things like that. So if they sound appealing to you, then check them out. The next book that I want to talk about is Beyond What Is Given by Rebecca Yaros. This is part of the Fight and Glory series, I think, and I've read two books from that series, but there was ages ago, and I feel like I read them apart as well. And there's nothing that drives me nuts more is reading a book or a series of books when you can't remember what happened in the previous books. Like, I mean, they kind of do stand alone. They're, they're about different couples or things, but at the same time, they are, they are linked. So I like to be able to remember what happens. And this is why I still maintain that every book in a series should contain at the start of it or somewhere like a, a few page sort of um, synopsis and or summary of the previous book. And it should include spoilers and everything because the whole point of it is for somebody who's already read the previous book to read it and then remember what happened. Because if you're like me, I'm sure so many of you would experience this. When you read a ton of books, they all start to blend together. And when they're like years apart or like a year apart, which is how a lot of books are released, how are you supposed to remember what you read so long ago? Anyway, I kind of jogged my memory. I did like this book. It was Sam and Grayson's story and... They were both um, dealing with issues from their past. Sam had uh, issues with her past college and she had kind of had an affair with a teacher and was trying to get over that and trying to start her life again and was trying just to get into uni but was having issues with like starting and, and dealing with the fact that she's kind of on her own and her mother's in the army and she's got sort of nobody else around her. And then we have Grayson who's also dealing with his own issues and he's He's, at, he's studying to be, I think it's like an Apache um, helicopter pilot, so he's dealing with that, but it doesn't come easy to him, and he has issues from his past and past guilts that he's dealing with, and it's about them getting together and dealing with their issues. It's 
it's it's a love story definitely but you also get to hear about the other characters from the past stories and um, about them growing and dealing with their past together. I don't know, it was really nice. There's some sort of like, it was, it was a bit more of an emotional story. I, I liked it. The next book I wanted to talk about is Wrong by Yana Aston. I believe this is a debut novel, novel from her. Um, this is Sophie and Luke's story. It's quite quick to get into the action. It's the, the general premise of the story is a girl, she works in a coffee shop, she sees this guy every day and she has a bit of a crush on him. She makes an appointment um, at the school clinic, uh, at the university clinic to um, get birth control and she obviously has to see a gynecologist and the, the gynecologist turns out to be the guy that she's had a crush on. He's a few years older and it's sort of their story about them getting together. It's very politically incorrect and it's unapologetic about that. The, the male character is kind of over the top alpha male so if that bothers you then that this will probably bother you. It's very explicit as well so again if you're easily offended um, or if you're younger it's probably not the, the book for you. The author probably there were a few some weaknesses in the writing that I didn't particularly love but I definitely think I would read more from her and it, it was funny even if like the story was a little bit over the top because I mean can you imagine having like a crush on a guy and then him turning out to be your, your gynecologist and she's also a virgin as well so it's this whole whole kind of story that's funny but the, the story of them getting together is quite sweet and um, it was a quick sort of easy read and overall I did I liked the book and the last book that I want to talk about is continuing on again from last time when I mentioned the Sarah J Maas series I don't know what it's called is it just called the throne of glass series. Anyway, I've kept on reading. I'm now up to the fourth book, which is called Queen of Shadows. And I've actually paused on this series. I was really enjoying it. I liked the first two books. The third book kind of took um, the main character away. So she was sort of in a different area. It introduced new characters that you can tell are going to be main parts of the book. Then we sort of move on to the fourth book. And this is where I'm getting a little bit almost a bit frustrated with the story and it's particularly the story between um, Selena and Cole um, who I keep on referring to as Chol or Kale. I don't know I say all the characters names wrong and the reason for that is that when I read something I read it and I say it in my head however I say it it could be completely wrong but once that's in my head or it's not Cole it's Kale but I keep on reading it as Cole Anyway, once I've got it wrong in my head, I can't, I can't get my brain to think of it as being the right way. So if I say the character names wrong, I don't mean to offend, it's just that's their name in my head. I basically named them Selena and Cole, even though that's not the right name. Anyway, their story, the author kind of gets you to almost ship them. You like them together. And then in the fourth book, they both change and she blames him for something that happened and it's sort of over the top and I do believe that eventually they sort it out and maybe they don't end up back together but they something happens and at least it gets resolved a little bit but I'm just really frustrated where with where a lot of the characters are going so I'm up to about 12% of the book and I've just paused do any of you guys do that um, when reading I will finish the book and I will continue the series but I'm just frustrated and I just needed to vent that frustration and if any of you have been reading the series um, or have read it or started reading it when I mentioned it, um, let me know if you get to that point and if you were frustrated too and if you've kept on reading and you finished book four, let me know does it get better? Am I going to be happy or am I at least going to like it? Because there's a lot going on and I just find that they're the kind of books that I kind of need to space out with other things because they can be just a little bit too much. So yeah. That is my book chat. I hope it was a little bit shorter than usual and that you enjoyed it anyway. Let me know what you guys have been reading. Check out the description box for the list of the books and links to where you can get them and maybe read a little bit more about them, see if you would like to read them yourself. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye!